Hey guys, Jed here, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at how to expand three brackets. So let's take a look at the example here. Expand and simplify the following. x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 4. The way to approach this is pretty straightforward. You're going to want to expand two of the brackets first, and then with that result, you're going to expand the third remaining bracket. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm first going to begin by expanding the x plus 1 and the x plus 3. This is going to give us x squared plus 4x plus 3. As you can see, I've simplified the two middle terms. It was going to be plus 3x and plus x, which would give us plus 4x. Now with this result, I'm going to put it in brackets because it still has to be multiplied onto the final expression of x minus 4. And how you would expand these two brackets is just like how you would expand any two brackets. I'm going to take the first term from the leftmost bracket and multiply that onto the entire expression from the second bracket, which is going to give me x to the power of 3 minus 4x. I'm then going to repeat this step with the middle term from the left bracket. So it's going to be plus 4x multiplied by x and plus 4x multiplied by negative 4. And this is going to give us plus 4x squared minus 16. And finally, I'm going to do the same thing for the plus 3 in the left bracket. So it's going to be plus 3 multiplied by x, which gives us plus 3x, and plus 3 multiplied by negative 4, which gives us negative 12. I'm now going to collect like terms and simplify this. Since there's only one x cubed, I'm going to write that down first. I'm then going to collect all of my x squared. Since there's only one x squared, I'm going to write that down next. Now I'm going to collect all of my x's, minus 4x, plus 3x, and this is going to give me minus x. And finally, I'm going to collect all of my numbers, my constants. So minus 16, minus 12, combined to give us minus 28. And there you have it. That's how you'd expand three brackets. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and take care.